the Teleferico cogs and wheels and gears. And the Gringo passengers. Oh, wow. I guess that's Cotopaxi back there, right? Should be. You can see the top of it. We're not clouded in yet. There's something else over there. I don't know. There's a bunch of snow capped mountains. That's all these are. That's our <laughs> disclaimer. This is not an educational station yeah. channel. And if we say something is something, don't believe it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this range is Pinchincha that we're going up to, but I don't know what the rest of this stuff is. Here's all the actual mountains Cayambe, Intisana, Cotopaxi. Villa Niza Chimborazo Stella Federico You are so magnifico You live out those lounge lizard singer dreams Lounge lizard? What? I don't the? know where lizard oh. came from Lava lizard? Lounge lizard is a thing, isn't it? I think that's derogatory Oh <laughs> I take it back then. It's like an old whore. <laughs> okay. It's a lounge lizard. <laughs> Just like a hot lizard for uh, truckers. Okay, that's that's quite different than your dreams, then. <laughs> your lounge singer dreams. Uh, what were you going to say about your REI safari look? Oh, just that, you know, when I was doing the research on uh, if athleisure wear was everyday wear here in Ecuador like it is in the United States, somebody put in the comments, uh, whatever you do, for the love of God, don't go to REI. <laughs> don't buy your whole wardrobe at REI. <laughs> and look like you're going on safari everywhere you go. So right before we left, we went to REI twice. <laughs> <laughs> We're on safari. We're on safari to and, stay. Uh, the clothes are serving us quite well, lady. So yeah, there you go. This is where you end up on the Teleferico. Safari Kate. <laughs> About to be warm. She's covering up. Pro tip for uh, any other middle agers in the audience. Don't not have worked out in a long time. Then work out with slash like a 29 year old. And then do the teleferico the next day. It's not recommended. Unless you're a badass like Kate. Yeah. Booyah. I be able to work out like a 29 year old. Yeah. But I don't recover like one. Like one. You're gonna Good make thing it. we didn't have any uh, false illusions of making it to the top. Yeah, we knew we couldn't breathe up here. Here's where we're going. All the way up there. Uh, or somewhere in the vicinity of up there. There's Definitely the not all the way. There's yeah. the peaks. There ain't no way we're getting up there. But we're going to take our time. We're gonna film ourselves in hyperlapse so you can't tell how slow we're actually going uphill. Because there is no air to get up here, but there is a beautiful view. In reality, in real life, we could probably get passed by a turtle. Yeah, especially if it was a horny turtle. <laughs> Did he just up the insurance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
This means you probably can't breathe. <laughs> what do you think, Kate? Or that's a Google, that could be a Google map point, but I don't know. This is how you strut on the Teleferico walkway. It's kind of like a slow walkway to death because you can't breathe. I don't know, I think I'm acclimating a little bit. Kate's acclimating. Cause she's I think the, the she's a badass. Got my blood pumping. Yeah, she's pumping all right. Looks like you can go to both, huh? We're gonna hit all the hot spots. So how high are we? Twelve thousand forty-nine. Twelve thousand forty-nine feet, approximately. It's not. It's about the same as Papayakta, but we were. Just laying in hot pools. Yeah, in it's a lot nicer when you're in a hot pool. They probably brought a picnic. We did not bring snacks. I'm Rookie in charge of mistake. cameras and snacks. And everything. I'm glad I brought my hat today. While it's cold, the sun is. The sun is real. It's real. It's for dog. It's for Philosophy tip in high altitude go slow or easy does it because what's the rush and if you get too out of breath it makes it that much harder to recover so just take your time enjoy the scenery I swear I heard these horses say when we walked up oh no Gordo Americano Gordo Gringo and Safari Kate they've heard of us they've seen our YouTube channel this is how you travel on the Teleferico Trail in style at the Parque on the little caballo or does that make me a caballero probably gonna have a sore crotch after this got some beautiful views up here Beautiful views everywhere in Ecuador. All you gotta do is look around. Go to the right, my love. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. To the right. Come on. Come on. A la derecha. Good job. Look like a real cowgirl with that safari REI outfit. <laughs> Just a man and his thoughts out here on the range, the Pinchincha range. Thinking about the sun, the moon, and I'm thinking about my crotch. Is it gonna make it? Can I withstand this kind of shaking and this kind of movement for 45 minutes? Probably some ice too. Mi por cojones. Ay, yay, ay. We made it! Kate's not going to tip, but she's going to tip. Shh. Muchas gracias. Oof. So, how you feeling after the horse ride, Kate? We feel a little conflicted. <laughs> we didn't... I've only, uh, I've only been on a few horse rides my whole life. Each of the experiences has been a little different. Um, we just did it in Tennessee a few years ago. A few years ago, we just did it for our anniversary. And it was cool. Um, I wasn't expecting the lady to be walking and whacking them with a stick. Well, <laughs> it's a sign for life that sometimes everybody needs a little whack in the ass. 
and Luna to keep would, going. When she would do it, Luna would be like, "Okay, okay." And then as soon as she'd stop doing it, Luna would be like, "Taking my time." <laughs> Especially when you're carrying fat gringos, yes. you need a whack in the ass. So uh, maybe 20 minutes would be enough. <laughs> 45 minutes was a little long, but the views. Lens on the fly. Lens on the fly. <laughs> the, the views, views were, were spectacular. Worth it. It's beautiful. Sure. Love you, Ecuador. Empanada, you know I like it. Empanada means of the wind because there's nothing in it. <laughs> Where are all the other gringos eating? So close. This might not win me any fans, but I don't love choclos. And what are choclos? It's like Indian corn on the cob. Yeah. No chocolates. No. All I'm saying is if it's between fried dough with sugar and chocolates. We're from Tennessee. We get our corn from a jar. <laughs> oh, I think I ate some of the bread or some of the wrapper. Mmm. <laughs> I'm glad we came out today. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Wow. I have some cheese in there. Yeah. You said just a little tiny bit of queso. I see the gringos that eat the corn. They're already picking their teeth. <clears throat> that guy's a pro, though. He's, he's got a flossy with him. <laughs> it's not his first rodeo. And he's got camouflage pants on. I might know that guy. Oh God. You said, uh. Lynn's on the fly. He said, Oh, my choclo, senor. And the guy said, Un momento. And he said, No. Oro nunca. Uh. Now or never. There's the top that we were at. We hung in there. We persevered. Because that's a Flynn, uh, Flynn's on the fly philosophy. Hang in there. This too shall pass. Or you might get smacked in the ass. With a stick. <laughs> it's okay. I love my REI Safari girl. He loves you. Hmm. <sighs> you first so hard. <laughs> After you make it to the top, it's like, uh, I guess that's <clears throat> it. I don't know why you would want to record this. Clouds are building again. It's a little low. It's like 1230-ish. We are going back up to get back down because you got to get up to get down beautiful up here when you come to Quito yeah this is a must see for sure you might need a day or two to acclimate though before you try to walk too far up here because the thin air is real <clears throat> maybe if you're Canadian you can do it Right off the bat, but your average middle-aged gringo is going to need a little acclimation. After all that kind of hiking, Flynn's on the fly. Like to enjoy some cafe. Everybody gets to watch us as we drive past. Oh, look at the gringos! Gringos on parade. <laughs> well, what are we going to do the rest of the day? We've got a thing that's called gringo love. The high altitude might be getting me. A little bit, you think? 
Gringo out. You're usually weird, but right now you're super weird.